An important piece of wartime history has been rediscovered in our southern suburbs. It's the camp of the Women's Army Service, the brave ladies who kept Perth safe during World War II. But the site could soon be lost forever. A lot of the men were overseas fighting and so there was a, a limited number of people here who could actually protect this country if it was invaded by the Japanese. And that was really um, a very frightening prospect. They were our brave backup plan. The women prepared to sacrifice everything. The Australian Women's Army Service. They were trained in using weapons, they were trained in signals uh, about communications, all sorts of things that they needed to do to protect this country. Hugo Damachi has lived in Bibra Lake his whole life. He remembers seeing the lights at night as the women's army worked around the clock to protect Australia, spotting planes during the Second World War. When I was a young child, the searchlight would light up. I always had a hope that perhaps we could have some plaque at the, the front there. The army camp was made up of prefabricated huts and parts of the camp still exist. For the whole of our World War II history, there aren't any other sites left as far as I can tell, in the whole of Australia, the whole site is here. This site is less than 50 metres away from Hope Road. However, it was only rediscovered several years ago. Now the local council and RSL are fighting to have the area preserved so they can learn more about it. But it could be lost for good. The site has been approved for the Row 8 project, a controversial section of the government's proposed Perth Freight Link. Well, personally, I believe that it should be on become part of the history of the area in terms of being registered on the city's um, heritage inventory. A heritage assessment of the site has suggested the city of Coburn in Shore Row 8 remains at least 200 metres from the site. This area here was the shower block. Rachel Carey, Today Perth News.